basically a lot of people think sexism doesn't really exist anymore. Um, you know, in years women have been, you know, you know, pushing for so much that they've kind of got it and a lot of people think there's no, there's no sexism and why is there feminism? But that's not really the case because we've got this whole thing nowadays called like lad culture. Um, so I went and spent some time with the university team and um, they're kind of like, you know, someone's like, oh, show she tits love and like, um, have you ever seen Buddha pull a wench and stuff like this and it's like, that's, that's really not a way to try and impress a girl. You're actually really intimidating them. You're being quite sexist by disrespecting them in that way. But so then I went and spent some time with the girls and actually the sexism that these boys were showing them is actually sort of not really the main issue. The comments that some girls sort of get in the streets about she was your pussy and stuff, that was really quite um, surprising because I didn't um, think those things actually got said. And the girls were saying, you know, sometimes we, ca we hold our keys between our fingers when we're walking down the street because men approach us so often and stuff. And I didn't... I almost question that. I think there's never really any need to, to put your keys in your fingers. But then when I went out with them and I saw the men, I, I see the reason. I went and spent some time with um, a pickup artist called Vexter. He um, calls himself a meninist, basically. Um, the start of his class was right. C, capture, sex. And that was literally his kind of, um, his training process for how to pick up women. And obviously, I don't even need to explain how predatory that is. And his, his, his kind of, his day's training was, right lads, we're going to go out, we're going to buy coffee, we're going to lean against the wall, we're going to wait till we see a girl we fancy, we're going to go and walk to her, we're going to trap her, we're going to stop her, and then we're going to try and interact with her and try and ultimately have sex with her. And he was like, oh yeah, no, it's nothing, girls like being talked to. I was like, well, why then is everyone you talk to basically like swearing at you? Do you think this is sexist? No, it's not sexist at all, it's just picking up girls. Oh yeah, I'm just like speaking to them. Yeah, but you're taking away her right to walk down the street without being spoken to. I think there was a definite lack of respect um, for the other sex. And the, one of the other things that we looked at in the documentary is I asked the, um, the girls why they sort of dress so pr provocatively if they don't want any attention from guys. Which is a big question on guys' minds, I think. You've got your chest out, do you not want people looking at it? You know, why do you don't want it to be groped? Obviously that's too far, well, that is the way that some guys see it. And, um, the girls were like, well, no, just because we've got a short skirt on and we might be flirting with someone doesn't mean, you know, we want to be um, sexually assaulted in some way. Or it doesn't mean we're, we're saying that we want to, you know, we want to have sex with you. It doesn't, we, we have a right to dress up for ourselves. And, um, and yeah, I kind of understand that. I, I completely understand that. When I'm dressing up, I mean, I've, you know, I've got a lovely girlfriend. I'm not going out to look nice and pull girls on the street. But when I go out, I still want to look nice. And I didn't really think about it in that way before.